So one of the things that has come up uh, within the last week, uh, updates on the uh, young lady, Abigail Bastine, 19-year-old uh, Johns Hopkins student who was found deceased last week um, in the 3700 block of North Charles Street. Um, what we can tell you with this case, and again, it got a lot of follow-up in reference to this, is um, nothing in this case points towards homicide. But our early indications based on all the evidence that we have, which includes video evidence um, and statements from people, is this is an accidental death where it appears that she fell off of uh, the building uh, from uh, quite a distance and, uh, and died uh, uh, as a result of that. We're still waiting on toxicology results from the medical examiner's office before we're able to determine exactly everything that was going on. But every piece of evidence right now points to accidental. Um, could that change? That's possible. But at this point, everything points to accidental based on the evidence that we have. Again, a tragic situation um, that occurred there last week, and we're still following up on that. Anything? Were there aspects of her discovery that complicated the investigation and made it more difficult for you to determine whether someone else may have been involved in the incident? Um, I think any time you have an individual who is uh, deceased and deceased with injuries and it's unexplained right then and there when you first arrive at the scene, yes, you're, 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 you're looking at um, a situation that... Um, is a little bit more complicated than, you know, right there given to you. However, as the investigation went on and you're able to review video surveillance, you're able to interview more people and get more uh, information, we're able to be a little bit more conclusive as to what we know occurred through a period of time leading up to her death. And um, again, when this initially happened, we didn't have that. And it was more in the neighborhood of suspicious. Um, today, we, based on everything that we have, this is certainly looking more towards accidental. I mean, again, we were even looking at the possibility of suicide. But again, it's looking more towards accidental, more than anything at this uh, point in time. But again, we're still uh, waiting on some more toxicology results to determine some other things as part of our investigation. You mentioned a, a um, possible fall. Uh, was it from the, the high-rise building there was it from a balcony? It was from the high-rise building, and it was from a significant distance. I don't know um, the exact place that it occurred, but it was from a significant distance from the high-rise building. Anything else on that? Do you have a timeline on toxicology? Or? Um, I think the general six to eight weeks, I would imagine. I mean, if we get anything sooner, or prelim it's going to be preliminary, but uh, probably the general six to eight weeks before it's conclusive. But the medical examiner uh, could initially uh, or could offer a ruling sooner than that uh, based on the preliminary information. 